universe is 13.8 billion years old. The solar system is 4.6 billion years old. The sun, the glorious star. The sun is a big ball of gas and plasma. It's mostly made up of hydrogen and helium, which gets converted into energy in the sun's core. Light and heat from the sun takes eight minutes to reach us, but it will already have taken millions of years to travel from the sun's core to its surface. Mercury, the messenger. Mercury is named after the Roman messenger of gods and closest to the sun. Mercury is a little bigger than Earth's moon. However, because it's mostly made up of heavy materials like iron, it weighs a lot more. The surface which faces the sun has temperatures of 427 Celsius degrees, but it's not the hottest planet in our solar system. Venus, the beautiful goddess. Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. The surface is hot enough to melt lead due to its runaway greenhouse atmosphere. Winds swipe across Venus at super fast speeds that can reach 725 kilometers per hour. Earth, the blue planet. The Earth is the only planet in our solar system not to be named after a Greek or Roman deity. The Earth was formed approximately 4.54 billion years ago and is the only known planet to support life. 70% of Earth's surface is covered in water. The remaining 30% is the solid ground rising above sea level. There are two bulges in the Earth due to the gravitational pull that the Moon exerts. One on the side facing the Moon and the other on the opposite side that faces away from the Moon. The bulges move around the oceans as the Earth rotates, causing high and low tides around the globe.
Mars, God of War. The red planet is named after the Roman God of War because it commonly appears with a reddish tinge when viewed in our sky. Mars has the largest mountain in the whole solar system. Olympus Mons is a volcano that is three times the height of Mount Everest. It has a height of nearly 22 kilometers and a diameter of 600 kilometers. The asteroid belt can be found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. They vary from a couple of meters to 100 kilometers in diameter. The biggest is Ceres with 950 kilometers in diameter, or about a quarter of the size of our moon. Ceres, the mysterious planet. Plumes of water vapor shoots up from Ceres' surface, making it lose 6 kg of steam every second. Ceres accounts for one third of the mass in the asteroid belt. Despite this, it is still the smallest and least massive of the dwarf planets. The Great Jupiter Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. The Romans regarded Jupiter as the equivalent of the Greek Zeus. Jupiter is two and a half times more massive than all of the other planets in our solar system combined. The Great Red Spot is a huge storm on Jupiter. It has raged for at least 350 years. It is so large that the three Earths could fit inside it. Ganymede Jupiter's gigantic moon. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system and is larger than the planet Mercury. It's named after the mythical Greek son of a king who was carried to the sky by Zeus posing as an eagle.
Io, Jupiter's volcanic moon. Io has more than 400 active volcanoes on its surface. That makes it the most actively volcanic world in the solar system. The volcanic plumes of Io rise up as high as 200 kilometers, showering the terrain with sulfur, sulfur dioxide particles and rocky ash. Jupiter's icy moon. As Europa orbits Jupiter, it comes ever so slightly closer to the planet. That increases the gravitational pull on Europa and distorts its shape and creates heat. This may be what is keeping Europa's interior ocean fluid. Because Europa is water rich and has a warm interior, Scientists think it could be hospitable to life. Saturn the jewel of the solar system. This may have been how Saturn looked 200 million years ago. Its face and rings are ever-changing. It is named after the god of agriculture and harvest. The rings are made mostly of chunks of ice. The rings stretch out more than 120,000 kilometers from the planet, but are amazingly thin, only about 20 meters thick. Saturn's hazy moon. Titan is the second biggest moon in our solar system. With a diameter of 5,000 kilometers, it is larger than Mercury. Titan's most obvious feature is its heavy hazy atmosphere. The most abundant gas is nitrogen, with methane and ethane cloud and a thick organic smog. Enceladus, Saturn's cryovolcanic moon. Enceladus is a largely icy world with some percentage of its mass being silicates. It appears to have a rocky core mixed with water ice and a frozen mantle. Cryovolcanic activity in Enceladus is sending geysers of water ice particles out from underneath the surface. Uranus, father of the sky. Uranus 
is named after the Greek god of the sky. The axial tilt of Uranus is a staggering 99 degrees. In other words, the planet is rotating on its side. Uranus is closer to the sun than Neptune. However, it's still the coldest planet in the solar system. Neptune, God of the Sea. Neptune is named after the Roman god of the sea. Neptune has the strongest winds in the solar system. Hurricanes with winds that go up to 2000 km per hour. The atmosphere of Neptune is made of hydrogen and helium with some methane. Pluto, the ruler of the underworld. Pluto is named after the Roman god of death. Pluto has three famous moons, Charon, ferryman of Hades, Nyx, the Greek goddess of night and darkness, Hydra, the nine-headed serpent who guards Hades. This one goes to the universe for keeping us alive. <laughs> <laughs> 